All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Uh, let's hop into the last fight of the Gathering of the God of Destruction event. So, I mean, these boss, th this seems, this is above, like, a medium difficulty boss. I don't want to, like, like, these stages, but they're not, the thing about these fights is that some of these gods definitely do have, you know, tough gimmicks, but they have such little HP. I, like, they do not have the opportunity to utilize these gimmicks, these bosses. I, it's just, our characters nowadays are so good and so strong. The, all these types of bosses would be significantly scarier if our characters were 2023 level or something like that, sure. But, like, even 2023 teams would not have too much trouble, I don't think, with these fights. I don't know. I, we'll, maybe. Okay. So, the bosses I was really scared of, we've already fought. Okay, so here's the last four. I remember the Fox God double supered, but Belmod double supered originally, and they took that out of this. When they do these boss rush type stages, they do seem to go very light on what they give the bosses, right? Like, removing dodge canceling from uh, Broly in the Red Zone movie boss rush. I mean, to be fair... To do a 15 turn fight and then end with a boss that doubles 3 million supers with dodge canceling does sound very, um, very tough. Alright, let's see. I don't, I mean, judging by how the first two stages went down, I'm not really too scared here, but I'll play it seriously. All right, so um, we got the Beast Theriser right away. I I mean, I might have been interested in building up UI Goku before, but I don't know if it's something we really need to worry about too much. Um, with AGL UI Goku and Jiren turn one, um, I think that we could pretty easily end up just killing... What is this? This is Ewan, I believe. We could pretty easily, I think, just kill him just in one turn, just like this. We got Gogeta in slot 7 again, by the way. That's back-to-back -back runs, so Gogeta is going to probably have no impact on this fight whatsoever. All right, let's see. Remember, my beast, Gohan, is built offensively, um, attack equips, and full additional. Because, um, I mean, he just pretty much always guarantees crits anyway, so you don't need to give him a crit. Um, we get the hit on potential system, but it's only a normal. Oh, he's got that. Okay. He has the damage threshold shit. Well, we got the perfect rotation for a boss that has the damage threshold barrier. Uh, once we beat the fight, we'll take a look at the stats afterwards and see what exactly the damage threshold barrier actually is. Um, I don't think it'll be too crazy. Remember, Goku and Frieza hit a potential system additional normal. So we're two for two for that. Um, Goku and Frieza, they have a 10 million. That's 100% dodge. Sorry, buddy. Uh, Goku and Frieza have a 10 million threshold. Beast Gohan has a 3 million threshold. And then I believe Fusions, the monster had a 1.5 million threshold, right? All right, so he's out of here quickly. Very fast, very fast. Alright, so we got Tech UI Goku out. Uh, so far, none of these bosses have had dodge canceling, by the way. Uh, well, I'm not really... I don't... I'm just going to put my UI Goku in slot 1. I, I'm, you know, we, we probably should put Vegeta in position to get the most hits taken. But I'm just going to maximize damage instead. Since... I mean, I guess I did say I was going to take this, you know, super serious, but... I mean, I, I don't know if I'm super respecting these bosses with the characters we've got. I don't think we'll need to use our revive or anything like that. So I just kind of like maximize links. UI Goku not dodging that attack, by the way, cost us from having a uh, guaranteed additional super. Not dodging that first hit. Alright, so Vegeta will be doing his guaranteed crits. Hopefully he triple supers for us. Beautiful. There's the second one. Nice. Dude, these animations still look so good. Like, I never get tired of seeing this. Because that, that was from that one episode where he fought Jiren. That shit looks so good. 
I do love that. That was like, it was in the series, it was blue, regular blue Vegeta doing these attacks, but I do like the idea to give that to Evolution Blue Vegeta. Very good. All right, hopefully the Tech UI Goku will do a lot of damage here. Um, we got Tech UI Goku on turn two. So I'd say there's probably a decent chance we don't even see um, Mastered UI. Well, maybe not. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Because we didn't one turn this guy. I don't recall what his name is. Isn't this like a rat? No, it's like a rack or something. Yeah. Is he hit by this? Buddy. God damn it. Alright, we took a lot of damage. Dude, please. Uh, we took a lot of damage, but I mean, that was, that was type disadvantage, huh? And we did kind of just eat it, I guess. Let's hit that. That's going to give you I Goku 24 key. And we'll hit that right there. Sure. Um, does us taking damage even matter? Probably not. I, I, I can't imagine so. <laughs> I don't know. Um, am, do I, am, maybe, I do think maybe these could have been a little bit tougher. I, like, the legendary freeze of, of, the legendary Frieza event fight. I feel like I'll go down forever saying that that fight's difficulty is fine. Not every fight needs to be, oh my god, you know, Goku and Frieza level scariness where people are freaking out and talking about, I'm skipping this when it comes to global, it's so toxic and shit like that, right? For sure, not every fight needs to be that, but I don't know. I mean, this is kind of like, I would assume the grand finale of this event, right? Coming back with like a kind of like a boss rush stage. I think maybe it should have just been one stage. That would have, oh, uh, hello, buddy. Bro, our, our UI Gokus are not dodging here, man. What is this? All right, well, we're going to need to be careful now because we've taken significant damage. Uh, the UI Gokus got slapped around. Remember, it's going to be several turns until we get Gogeta's heal. Um, we are going to have Jiren next turn. And, I mean, we also have... Um, we are going to need Evolution Blue Vegeta to get hit a couple more times to get that revive, though. All right, Gogeta, you finishing him? No, I think he didn't get the hit him potential system additional super, right? Okay, okay. Um, so we'll go ahead and use Jiren's standby right here. Uh, I'll probably just leave the rotation like this, right? I think so, yeah. Alright, well the good news is we're gonna get to see full power Jiren in this one. Alright, so let's just get same type orbs. Um I do wanna keep Tech UI Goku on rotation here. Um because by keeping Tech UI Goku on rotation, obviously we're gonna you know get closer to getting that mastered um transformation there. Jiren, remember, has a hundred percent damage reduction right here. We're not gonna get Jiren's support, but Taking advantage of his 100% defense, I think, is smarter than his, his offensive support. Remember, defense wins championships, man. It's just how it goes. It's just as simple as that. All right. UI, go ahead and finish him off. Okay, well, you got a crit, though. All right, that's all right. We're critting on the second one. He better. This is going to be a te uh, UI Goku disaster video. It's possible, I suppose. There's the crit. Nice. All right, two more gods left. All right, so this this is like liqueur or something, liquor, something like that. What if we? Damn, if only all those attacks weren't directly at the end like that. I, you know, we could just see, look at how many times he attacks. Like we could beast active and just annihilate this guy. All right, we'll hit that. Uh, I do kind of want same type orbs. I mean, we have Gogeta transforming next turn. It doesn't matter. And if, if we get caught on this rotation somehow, um, it also doesn't matter um, because uh, UI Goku will just revive for us. Oh, dodge canceling. I didn't notice, actually. Okay. Uh, all right, he dodge cancels. So we're actually probably going to die here and get UI Goku's revive. Sure, sure, sure. All right, so liqueur, liquor, whatever, uh, has dodge canceling. All right, we'll have to keep that in mind. So he's going to directly counter EGL UI Goku. Um, unless we have Tech UI Goku transformed. Ah, uh, yeah, but that's not really going to do too much, bud. Yeah, you're not going to hurt him. Oh, he lowers defense, too. Did you see that? Okay. 
All right, so let's see if UI Goku... I mean, he should die here. There's no way the they make the boss this weak. Ty I mean, we, we are type disadvantage, but remember, the gods of destruction are all super class enemies. So they're not... Like, it's not class disadvantage here. Uh, I don't know if UI Goku is fully built up. Oh, hidden potential system additional super. Beautiful. And yeah, okay. That's fine. We have his revive ready to go. Alright, dodge canceling would have been a lot scarier before this celebration, but uh, we got this going on. Um, Alright, so we'll be able to... Oh, okay. Uh, I guess maybe... Well, I mean, we did revive. Yeah, th this is a common thing. Um, where... Let's leave Gogeta on rotation, actually. We'll be able to use his, um, his active. We could use his active. Attack UI Goku's probably going to kill, though. I, that's way too many attacks in slot one. Uh, by the way, we should keep in mind, remember this, that uh, UI Goku's domain buff is massively buffing the Gods of Destruction, right? They're all, all the enemy Gods of Destruction are getting 30% extra attack from Attack UI Goku's domain. So they're all going to be buffed by a huge amount. Um, a lot of our team is Realm of Gods, though. Well, I think the whole team is actually except for Beast. Beast is the only one. So our entire team is also getting 30% attack. But I, I think a lot of issues people have had with the Goku and Frieza fight, I definitely think this is the case. Where, like, Goku and Frieza are doing just, like, inconceivable damage. Hit them with this finish, you don't know him, by the way. Um, is that I think a lot of people have got, um, like, they're popping Tech UI Goku's domain. And then, like, either buffing Goku and Frieza's damage, and then it just makes Goku and Frieza's damage insurmountable, and people's characters are getting wiped out. I do believe that's what's happening. I think so. I think so. Look at this. This is a massacre, dude. This is insane. Tech UI Goku is so crazy. Uh, one thing I'm liking about... Well, I guess the other god fights didn't... This one is lasting a little bit longer than the other ones did, huh? This is the first time going through all of this, these three new stages that we're even getting Gogeta's... We've even seen Blue Gogeta. Right? We didn't even see Blue Gogeta before this. Okay. Perfect. He's out of here. So, I mean, we're probably going to be able to use Gogeta's active. If if we don't kill... I mean, we know that there's some, we're going to be on the final boss now. Uh, what is it? It's uh, Rum. I think it's Rum. It's the, the fish guy, right? I'm pretty sure he's rum. Wait, let me double check.
No, I think that might be Jin. That's supposed to be... Yeah, this guy's supposed to be Jin. Jin is what this guy's supposed to be. Because remember, they're all, they're, most of them are named after, like, liquors and stuff like that. Um, well, we won. Uh, it doesn't matter what you do, kid. We've won. Oh, my God, dude. What is, like, UI Goku and Vegeta's damage going to be here? It's going to be so crazy. Because we've revived. We got the, the active up. Oh, ho, 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 daddy. Oh. この程度か。オラは別に正義のヒーローでも何でもねえ。本当な仲間を傷つけるやつは許さねえぞ。Alright, what um what are UI Goku and Vegeta's numbers gonna be right here? Remember UI Goku has a hundred percent guaranteed uh, dodge right here. Um, Vegeta's not guarding. He wasn't the one that revived. So let's do that. Uh, yeah, he's dead. Uh, it, I, like, I don't, it doesn't matter what he does. That's, is there any way, like, I guess he could kill us. If he supered for, like, 9 million right here, he could kill us. Like, 10 million damage, he could take us out. Something like that. 10 million or so. Okay, sure. All right, we're not even gonna see Beast attack, by the way. <laughs> we're not even gonna see Beast get attacked, by the way. Bye bye. I don't know what you did, but uh, I doubt you do too much because you're just dead instantly. See ya. Hidden potential system additional super. We got good luck with you, Goku, tonight. Just barely survives. Yep. Well, hope you're ready for Vegeta's 38 or something. 34. Okay. All right, yep, uh, don't worry. We still got 50 more supers coming in that are all guaranteed crits, by the way. Don't worry. Yeah, you're dead. Bye. Yeah, still had we still could have done five more guaranteed crit supers on that turn. <laughs> Not really close, man. Okay. This is why, again, guys, when they release the next super crazy toxic boss, don't freak out in tears. Oh, my God. Oh, look at their scariness. Like, dude, like, bro, guys. Uh, our characters are the most busted they've ever been in the history of this game. And, again, I'm doing all these with no items, no support memory and stuff like that. But you guys shouldn't feel the need to hold yourself to my restrictions. Uh, again, I mean, you can't say that these bosses are so unfair, so toxic, so crazy, and then you're not using the mechanics of the game, support memories and items and shit like that, right? So, there we go. Yeah, I, I mean, th these fights definitely don't seem too bad. Um, cause, I mean, we have, you know, easy A characters who are dominating a lot of this, so. Okay, there's that. So, we have this support memory buffed. I mean, this is, with how powerful the Universal Survival Saga is, this is a huge addition right there. That, I think, will be very good for players, um, doing the Universe 11 mission in particular, uh, in the Goku and Frieza fight. Having that buffed support memory plus the easy A tech Jiren, uh, will be super, super good for that. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the stats for the last fight. Uh, we got it right here, Sage 15. Let's go ahead and translate. Uh, E1, 1.7, nothing crazy. Uh, I don't know what his damage threshold is. It's probably not anything super nuts. Member of Fusions and Monsters, 1.5 million. Beast Gohan is 3 million. Goku and Frieza is 10 million. Uh, he gets stats on fourth turn after appearing, but, dude, he's got 50 million HP, man. I mean, if we were running a 2020 team, I would care, <laughs> right, about his, you know, on the fourth turn? Strange. Uh, alcohol here. He lowers attack, 1.8. Uh, oh, okay. Remember, this is, like, a huge buff. It's only 30%, but that's pretty big. So this guy under... This would be a start of turn buff, by the way. It's not going to activate mid-turn.
But um, so like on on his second turn, if you've got him below 50%, he is going to hit quite hard. That's going to buff his damage a lot, actually. So he's in the high two millions, right? I think I think his, this would buff his damage quite a bit. But it's going to be easy to kill. Hey, he's got 70% damage reduction, 80 million HP. Yeah, okay. Th this is why this one took longer. Because look, like compared to the last stage, 60%, 60%. 65%, 60%. Like, these bosses over here have got a lot more damage reduction. Okay. Uh, oh, he does double super. Huh? Huh? Is that... Is that real? He gets... So, he does have dodge canceling. He does get attack every turn. So, this is actually much higher. Plus, a defensive debuff. So he hits very hard. He does. Because you have to factor this in right away on top of this. Plus a defensive debuff. I don't... I, am I stupid? I, he can't actually double super, though. He can double super, but he can't actually. Because his cooldown is 26 for some reason. I don't... I don't know. I, I don't... Maybe I'm reading that wrong, but he can't actually double super because his cooldown is too big. I don't... Okay. I, sure. Whatever. He does have dodge canceling and shit, though. All right. And then we got uh, gin or rum or whatever. W yeah, because uh, here they got it. As, as, yeah, gin. Uh, 1.9. Uh, he has the kid boom mechanic. He gets defense as well. Remove damage reduction. What? I, I don't... Uh, he's not actually removing our damage reduction. People are going to see that and instantly freak out and assume that, I'm sure, right? Let me... Hold on. Let me pause and see what people are talking about. Um, I'm sure... I'm sh I, I doubt he actually literally removes your damage reduction. That would be intriguing. I would be interested in that. Oh, I didn't even notice. that He had a territory, didn't he? Okay, hold on. Let me take a look at what we got going on with this. All right, guys. Did a little searching around, and our goat comes in. Bro, this glitch, man. Look at this. Of course I follow Proton, man. This this website, Elon. Fix your shit, brah. What is this? All right, anyway. Yes, obviously I'm following the GOAT Proton. Make sure y'all are following him too. All right, let's see. So, doesn't actually remove player's damage reduction. Just a description for the territory skill cancellation gives the enemy's damage reduction. All territory skills have it. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, okay, bam, 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 yeah, uh, okay, um, so the God of Destruction stages, I mean, I would argue that these are a little disappointing, I, 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 you know, not every fight needs to be Goku and Frieza, but I definitely feel like these ones could have been a little bit tougher, I mean, it is exciting having these kind of, like, boss rush stages, I, I do think they maybe should have just all been one stage, I mean, I, it's, you know, I, I think one one stage would have been good. They didn't need to split it into three like this. But uh, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, so there we go. There was the new stages of the Gathering of the God of Destruction event. I still really much appreciate, you know, nice little updates like this. I mean, those could be cheeky stages to do some showcases in. Some of those bosses here do have legitimate mechanics. It's not like they're all complete pushovers. It's just that compared to the top, the top characters will just blow through them. The biggest problem is that these bosses, well, I mean, every fight has this problem. The bosses just do not have HP, man. Uh, our, our characters are just so good. Many people in the community seem like they're still stuck in the 2023 mentality when the characters of 2024 are, like, way stronger than the bosses. The bosses are shivering in fear compared to the two characters on this layout and their easy A's of char some of the characters from years ago. So, let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys next time.